LGBTQ plus one minute news. Queer Up Entertainment. New York City's largest LGBTQ plus film festival loses corporate funding. New Fest, we create a space where we say gay every single day, and we encourage you to do it as well. Say it proudly. Tell the world that we are here, we are queer, and we are not going anywhere. All I can say, keep fighting, keep pushing, keep believing, keep loving, and keep going because we need each and every one of you to make our story change the world. New York City's largest presenter of LGBTQ plus film and media lost a corporate sponsor at the start of this year's third annual New Fest Pride on June 1st. David Hatkoff, executive director of New Fest, told the crowd at the New York pre premiere of the indie drama Fairyland about the abrupt shift, he feels corporate sponsors suddenly backed out due to fear of recoil from anti-LGBTQ plus extremists. A press release for the event from May List, May List, Chevrolet, <laughs> excuse me, Chevrolet, <laughs> SVA Theater, Gilead, Kettle One, and Mubai or Mubi as sponsors. However, all companies except Chevrolet have been recognized during the festival thus far. Chevrolet who began its ongoing Pride initiative in 2021, was set to present LGBT Nation's docuseries, Authentic Voices of Pride, in person and virtually on June 3rd, followed by a discussion. But the New Fest website has removed the webpage for, no screen for the screening and no longer lists the event on the festival's full lineup. However, Chevrolet remains on the overall New Fest website listed as a sponsor. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency stay updated, and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.